the new sports report, and I will and I will walk you through the next home game win from the fan experience. Today we're talking about the next big win over the Charlotte Hornets. The Knicks won 129 to 107, and now they have a three-game winning streak. The Knicks were led by RJ Barrett with four, 24 points and four rebounds. Jalen Brunson also helps with 20 points and one rebound. The Hornets were without Terry Rozier, and that was a big part of their offense and defense, so it was a very big loss for them. Um, the Knicks actually shot 50% from the field, 40% from three-point range. The Knicks crowd was electric through all of the game, and they really led through. They really led the Knicks to victory, and it was a great night to be a Knicks fan. Here are some highlights from the Knicks game. Brandon Miller. The Charlotte Hornets outstanding rookie was actually injured after he landed awkwardly. Isaiah Hardenside rejected Maladon's floater and it was pretty good. Quickly ended the first quarter with a buzzer beater step back three. And without Lamel on the court, the Hornets really didn't look like a good team. RJ Barrett really had a big poster dunk on Mark Williams. And the Knicks are playing some great basketball right now. It looks like when the playoff time arrives, they're going to get a really big run. And RJ Barrett's emerging into a star, and Jalen Brunson's still showing why he's a great all-around player. The Hornets are struggling without Terry Rozier. They are not defending well, and they're not getting as many points. Lamelo is a great all-around player, maybe even an all-star, but he needs more help from his team because that's probably why they're not doing so good. The experience was also amazing, like the food. I really recommend the cheeseburger. It was really good. The, dessert, the desserts were fruits, candies, and cookies. They were so good. Um, also, during the TV timeouts, there was a lot of fun to be had. For example, I actually made it up onto the big screen when, on a TV timeout when we were saying, Nick so nice. That was amazing. There were also dance performances by the Knicks City dancers and the Knicks City kids. Since it was military night, they were all dressed in uniforms like the military. There were also exciting t-shirt cannon shootouts. Unfortunately, it was too high to get one. Next time I go, I really, really want to go to the Knicks store to see what merchandise they have to offer. In conclusion, the Knicks are the better team right now as they showed last, last night. They're playing with confidence, and they're looking like a good team. Finally, be sure to check out Game On Sports Podcast. We just recorded our first episode with Mr. Kelly. He is a huge Mets fan.